Alright, what's up everybody? How's everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG. And uh, today I'm going to open up a Dominaria Remastered Collector Box. Uh, a set that I am uh, a, a fan of. I, overall, I am a fan of the remastered sets. Time Spiral Remastered is far and away my favorite. Uh, but I am a fan of Dominaria Remastered. And I even, despite having some, some early reservations, I've come around on uh, Ravnica Remastered. But... Some juicy stuff in here. Uh, the big hit is definitely Force of Wills, Vampire Tutor, and, and some other juicy stuff in there. Hopefully we see one or more of those today. Um, but uh, right now I'm like keeping my attention occupied away from Modern Horizons 3 because uh, as you're watching this, we are uh, coming up very quickly on Modern Horizons 3. We'll talk a little bit about that, I suppose. And uh, anyways, with that being said, why don't we go dive on in let's crack some packs. So as of the filming of this video, these boxes are sitting around 185-ish, uh, about 185 on TCG. As I mentioned, there are some sweet pulls in here. I will tell you the things that you need to know about Dominaria Remastered. One, duplication is a real thing. Like you, we will see rares and possibly mythics in this that you'll see two, three, sometimes even four copies of different variants in the same box. Sometimes the duplication is your friend, many times it is not. Uh, and, and so there is a lot of there's a lot of swing and miss to it. The hits are good, but there's some swing and miss to it as well. Okay, uh, really, really stunningly good art in this in this set. Like I am a big fan of a lot of the borderless stuff in here. So, all right, here we go. We're gonna start off with a right off. Oh, it's an opposition. It is a retro frame foil opposition. Gotta love the retro frame foil stuff. Next up, a Mystic Remora. Cool, Borderless R Mystic Remora. That is a very playable card. You get the full suite of, of tutors in this set with uh, Enlightened Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, Mystical Tutor, um, Worldly Tutor, and then you've got Mystic Remora. So some really good playable stuff in here. That's a nice hit. I want to say Mystic Remora is probably, I don't know, what, six to six to eight bucks, something like that, in that uh, Borderless range. Our first mythic of the box is a World Gorger Dragon. Once a World Beater, World Gorger Dragon, other than combo potential, is is not uh, uh, not really a thing anymore, and it's definitely not a value thing, unfortunately. And after that, a Grim Lava Mancer, a card that also once had its day in the sun, as you might expect from a remastered product, right? All right, Foil Ovinize, Mortar Marshal. We'll do those here, there. That seems good. For the land and into our uncommons and commons and um you know i gotta be i gotta be honest like i'm i am my hype level for modern horizons 3 is super super high so like uh <clears throat> if you are not a fan of modern horizons 3 uh, this channel will be miserable for you over the next month but uh if you are excited about modern horizons 3 as i am i, I would come back i'm gonna be opening up a lot of it okay next umbilicus as the retro frame foil as a retro frame foil rare sure gamble hey gamble's not bad these are both good solid playables i don't want to say gamble borderless is probably around five bucks at this moment for the non foil lotus blossom as a retro frame and after that a triskelion or triskelion as i like to say it uh in the pack foil version after that thran golem Retro frame. So you're going to get one retro frame foil and then two of the non foils before you get to your retro frame foil land, which these are all stunning, beautiful. I know we get basics in every set now, but uh, they nailed it with both the artists and the art in this on those. Okay, that was pack number two. Uh, Mythic count is kind of all over the place in these. Uh, I've seen boxes with like I don't, know, I don't know if I've ever seen a three mythic box, but I've, I've definitely seen a four. But I've also seen some in like the eight, nine range. Um, I think it's probably typical to be in like the five to six range, but we'll see. Windborn Muse as an extended art foil. Not not a big hit there. Cool art though. Again, I, I really feel like the art in this set is is awesome. Truly awesome. Ooh, first mythic is a hunting ground. So we're, or second mythic, I should say. So we've got a borderless hunting ground. This is a card every time I pull one where I'm like, why don't I play this card more often? And then I think about putting it in the deck and then I don't end up doing it. I think that's kind of the weird part is um, I definitely should try it because it seems really good. Denison of the Deep, probably not the last time we see that card today. That is the retro frame Denison of the Deep. Here's a Mythic. It is a another Hunting Grounds. I did, I did tell you we would be seeing duplication. 
Unfortunately, not the duplication we want to see. We want to see Vamp Tutors and uh, Urza's Incubators and things of that like. Not necessarily on the hunting ground train. All right. Uh, Goblin, Matron, sure. Uh, hunting ground is going to be fairly nominal in terms of value. Dread Return, now downshifted to common. Uh, all right. Beautiful Foil Plains, Voice of All. Uh, Dominary Remastered, I really enjoyed drafting this set as well. It was really... It really did feel like old school magic where you have some really powerful spells, but like the creature quality is still pretty bad, which is like old school magic. <laughs> Back when, you know, three for a two, two is just like a standard creature. And, and so it really makes some of the creatures in here stand out and then it makes you kind of understand like how far creatures have come. All right, next pack up. We're going into, we're on pack, what, four? We have a retro frame foil over master. Followed by, sure, Windborn Muse. There's our second Windborn Muse of the box. So far, Duplication, not been our friend. Uh, sure, followed by our second Overmaster of the box. Hey, there we go. There's an Entomb. Nice. A pack foil Entomb. A tomb uh, prior to the reprint was like $30. Now creeping its way back up, sitting between 8 and 10 I would suspect that the pack foil Entomb is probably in that same range. Probably right, right around 9 or 10 bucks. That's a good pull, though. That is a good pull. Spirit Link. Wild Growth, Ovinize, beautiful Foil Island, and that will do it there. So we've had some good rares so far. Where we have struck out is uh, in the Mythics. We are, let's call it what it is, we're, we're kind of 0 for 3 in the Mythics, although we have some good rares going for us. Okay, on to pack number 5. Yeah, Modern Horizons 3. So, um, I don't know if you guys have been watching previews. I have been watching a ton of them, and I am very excited I intend to open a whole lot of it. Hey, there we go. Nice. Beautiful Richard Kane Ferguson art. Love it. Uh, that is an ex uh, a borderless foil worldly tutor. That is a pretty good hit for us. Uh, worldly tutor? I don't know. Probably mm, yeah, 17 for the for the foil? For the, I don't know. I could be wrong on that. I, I think it, it might even be a little bit high, but I think this is a pretty valuable card. And uh, well, I know it's a pretty valuable card, but I think this one actually goes and it's going to make its way into my personal collection. And then a Borderless Entomb. Nice. Borderless Entomb. So finally a little bit of duplication working in our favor. We'll take that uh, Entomb probably in the in the Borderless probably 7, 7, 8 range. Really good hit. And a Maze of Ith. Actually, Maze of Ith is not a bad hit either. Probably uh, it might be in that 3, 3 plus range. I'm going to put it up top. I don't know why I put Opposition on Billigas up there. But Maze of Ith I will. Soul Kanar. The Swamp King. I remember when this, back in the day, I thought that was such a powerful card. Beautiful foil, uh, retro frame foil high tide. That's actually, as far as uncommons go, that's a really good one. Okay. And then a Swords to Plowshares. Goblin Matron. Land. All right, nice. The uh, Worldly Tutor feels like we're, we're back in business. And again, we've hit some good rares to this point. That's actually been carrying the box. It's the Mythic. So last pack of the first half of the box. Here we go. Let's see one of those big Mythics, please. Gauntlet of Power is not what I had in mind. That is a retro frame foil Gauntlet of Power. Actually, again, another one of those cards that prior to the reprint, uh, was actually really, really expensive and now is, is not. And actually, it's been reprinted a couple of times since then. So uh, it is a retro frame foil mythic gauntlet of power. Not, unfortunately, a, a big hit, but uh, it's a cool card. It's got its uses. Hey, there we go. I was like, oh, please don't let that be legacy weapon. <laughs> That's why I wasn't more excited. And I was like, oh, it's going to be legacy weapon, isn't it? Uh, no, it is, in fact, not legacy weapon. It is a borderless Urza's Incubator. That is uh, a huge hit for us. So I think Incubator is running about 30. kind of depends on which version, whether it's the regular, the borderless, or the retro frame. But all within, like, about 5 bucks of each other. I think this is right around 30 bucks. So that is a bona fide hit for us. And honestly, the one that we needed. Because the rest of our mythics to this point have been woof. Urza's Incubator. Actually, uh, I uh, I could use copies of that. So that is fantastic. Pyre Zombie. And then a, another umb Umbilicus, that time in the regular pack frame, pack foil. Mindstone as a retro frame foil. I like that they put Fire Blast in this set. That feels good. All right, Wall of Junk, Mishra's Factory. Yep, 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 yep. 
Cool. All right. That was a better way to end the first half of the box. So we are currently at five mythics, uh, of which uh, swing and miss on four, but really good on you know, on uh, Urza's Incubator. I think Incubator might actually be like the third most valuable card in the set behind Vamp Tutor and Force of Will. So that feels pretty good. Would not mind seeing a Sylvan Library as well. Okay. Into the second half of the box we go. So far, not bad. That is a Borderless Foil Absorb. And as pretty as that is with that beautiful, the, the coloring and, and whatnot. No, unfortunately, not a valuable card. But eh, it's Absorb. That's cool. Wrath of God in the uh, in the Borderless Treatment also. Again, I mentioned I, I'm such a fan of the art in this set. I think they really killed it with a lot of this art. And, and Wrath of God, no pun intended, also killing it with this art. So, <laughs> Cryptic Gateway. And then an opposition. That was uh, in a pack foil opposition. That was pretty bad pack. Lull. Savannah Alliance. Used to be a marquee creature. One for a 2-1. For a long time that held up. Okay. Yeah, that not that wasn't as that wasn't as good. Get some more uh let's get some more of those tutors going, huh? Enlightened tutor, more worldly tutors. You know what? More in tombs. I will I will have all of that, please. Okay, into our next pack. It is a Helm of Awakening in the Retro Frame Foil. Eh, actually, I mean, Helm's a decent, like, combo card. Um, Storm Enabler, something like that. But other than that, fortunately, not a big value target. And there's some more duplication. We have Absorb. Sarah Avatar. <laughs> uh, uh, sure, Sarah Avatar. You know what? At some point, I'm going to play with this card just to say that I did, because otherwise it's never going to happen. But it is a Mythic. It is a Retro Frame Sarah Avatar. Uh, and unfortunately, not a very big hit for us as a as a Mythic there. It's our sixth Mythic, though. Jester's Cap. Uh, this is a cool Jester's Cap. Um, I don't, I don't want to go too down too far down the nostalgia road, but Jester's Cap used to be a really important, really expensive card back when Ice Age was a thing. Dark Withering in the Retro Frame Foil, Chainer's Edict, Wild Dogs. Like I think Cap might only be not be reserve list because it was reprinted so quickly, and that was because it was a valuable card. Like Jester's Mask is on the reserve list from Ice Age, but Jester's Cap is not, and that's because Cap was reprinted I think before they settled on what the reserve list would look like. And since it had already been reprinted, I think that's likely, obviously, why it wasn't. I might be wrong on my chronology a little bit, but uh, it was reprinted rather quickly in one of the, the core sets. And it was like a, I don't know, Ice Age? Probably was like a 20 or $30 card back when that was a huge deal. Okay, uh, our third Absorb, that time in the Retro Frame Foil. Hey, Birds of Paradise, neat. I like uh, I like my myself some Borderless Birds. Good old Birds of Paradise. That is a really nice hit. Uh, Bird of, I mean, Birds has also been reprinted like a dozen times at this point. So like it never, while it's always valuable, it doesn't get to hold price point very often. I'm going to say the Borderless Birds is I don't know, probably in like the seven range. Arcanus, Woodland Cemetery as a pack foil. I do, uh, I do need those lands. So Frantic Search as a retro frame foil. Impulse, Thran Golem. Beautiful Mountain. Call of the Herd. That was also a very played card at one point back when when Zoo, Gruul Zoo was a, a real thing. Actually, I guess it was Naya Zoo still because Nakatl, which is still kind of a thing in modern. Okay, three packs left. Uh, we have fallen behind since hitting that incubator, so it would be really nice to hit something. That is not what I was thinking of with a retro frame foil cryptic gateway. Denison of the Deep, because I'm good for at least two of those per box. Beautiful art. Love the coloring on it, but I have like a million copies of it. Soul Canar. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> that's three in this box, Denison of the Deep. Hey, hey there's a nice one. Uh, Elvish Spirit Guide. This was a really important reprint, and the Retro Frame Foil Spirit Guide does have some value to it. This is beautiful. I'm going to put this up top, actually. That is a nice card. Street Wraith. Empty the Warrens, Swamp, Nature's Lore, good reprint. Okay, two packs left. Uh, we are behind on the scoreboard, like just, just flat out. Like we have some really good rares. The Worldly Tutor and the Incubator are like otherwise saving us from utter destruction. So two packs left. Can we pull a rabbit out of the proverbial hat and get some good pulls? 
Lotus Bloom as an extended art foil or borderless foil, excuse me. Not what I had in mind. Beautiful art, but not not a value target. Urza, hey, borderless Urza. Okay, uh, again, Urza also like the uh, the the suffers from the reprints uh, and the fact that him and Yagamoth are both in the set and they've both now been reprinted multiple times. But borderless Urza is still actually a pretty good pull. It's probably in the ten dollar range, so not quite as good as Incubator. But borderless Urza is is not a bad place to be. That actually, especially considering what we have to go off for our mythics otherwise, that's a good pull. There we go. There's the duplication I'm looking for. Nice. Uh, retro frame, uh, worldly tutor. Again, probably in like the, I don't know, $10 range, $10, $11 range, but a really good pull for us still. And I will absolutely take worldly tutors. And a forgotten ancient as the pack foil. Nice little terror there. Forest, slice and dice, circular logic. Okay. That was a little bit better. <laughs> funny is it's the borderless uh mythics that are booing this box all right finally got a little bit of uh help on the duplication last pack of the box something good it is nantuko shade as a retro frame foil rare that is not what i had in mind all right borderless slot is a Siege Gang Commander. Glory. I feel like also I'm good for one of those per box as well. And we conclude with a oversold, overprinted Cemetery in the pack foil. Kind of a womp womp to end the box. Momentary Blink, not bad as a retro frame foil. Renewed, Factor Fiction. Beautiful Island. And that will do it there. So, you know, eh, a little disappointed. Like, it, it wasn't... It, it wasn't a disaster, but it wasn't, let's let's call it what it was. It wasn't a good box either. I love the, what's funny is one of the cards I'm most in love with here is that Retro Frame Foil Spirit Guide. Uh, getting Double and Tombs is nice. Love the Birds of Paradise. Mystic Remora, obviously very playable. Uh, double Worldly Tutor, one in the Retro Frame, one in the Borderless Foil, which that goes into my PC. Love the Incubator. Kind of whiffed on the rest of the Mythics. You know, no Force of Will, no Vamp Tutor, you know not the end of the world would have liked to see like an exploration or some of those other key rares that are in the set anyways that's going to do it for me today um i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did do me a favor if you're not subscribed already hit the subscribe button for me hit the like button for me and by all means drop me some comments also again i'll say it one more time if you are intrigued by mh3 i'm going to be opening up a lot of it so anyways that's it hope everyone has a great day and uh be well everybody